Hello students, in this video we're going to take a look at some of the spreadsheet software options that are available to you. In order to continue on through this course, you're going to need to have access to spreadsheet software. And in this video, we're just going to take a look at some of the popular options that are out there and some of the pros and cons to them. I'll also talk about where you can get access to a spreadsheet and um, hopefully within a couple days or even a couple minutes you will know exactly where to go. If at any point you are still uh, confused or you have questions about how you can specifically get access to a spreadsheet, you're going to want to send me an email or stop by at school and um, just let me know and, and we'll try and work something out. But I would encourage all of you to uh, do what you can to try and um, gain access to spreadsheet software as quickly as possible and I would encourage you to see if you can do it right there at home or wherever you're watching this video just to see if you have access already. So let's take a look at some of our popular options for spreadsheets. The first you can see here is Microsoft Excel. The reason why I mention this one first is because Microsoft Excel is likely the industry standard and by that I mean if you went on a job interview and you had to know spreadsheets and there was one spreadsheet that you should know, it would be Microsoft Excel. Years ago this was not the case, but you know, over the last 10 years plus, Microsoft Excel has been the industry standard and most people have it because it comes with Microsoft Office. So it is a fairly obvious choice for running a spreadsheet. It's also the oldest one on this list, uh, so it's been around for a while. One of the downsides is it does cost money, and if you don't already have it, to acquire it is going to cost uh, a pretty penny. And for a student, you can get some student discounts, um, but in many cases you're going to be running yourself in the neighborhood of 50 to 100, if not more dollars in order to acquire Microsoft Excel. Likely it comes bundled with Microsoft Office and in order to get that you are going to spend a little bit of money. We're not going to go through the process of acquiring Microsoft Excel because you really don't need it, but if you wanted it uh, and you did not have it, you would have to purchase it and it would cost a little bit of money. You may very well be running Microsoft Excel at home. If you have Microsoft Word on your computer, it's very likely that you also have Microsoft Excel, even if it's in a very limited form. If you come to the school campus, every school campus computer is um, enabled with Microsoft Excel, so if you're in the lab or you're in the media center, you do have access to Excel there. So if you don't have access at home, you can certainly come in and use a computer at school. You won't have the liberty of doing it at home unless you have it at home. The downside, other than costing money to Microsoft Excel, is that it runs on a computer. So you must install the program on your computer in order to run it. The next option is OpenOffice. If you go to openoffice.org, and I apologize for not having the URL on the, spread, on the presentation, OpenOffice.org will allow you to download a free version of Microsoft Office. And it's not really a free version of specifically Microsoft Office, but it's an uh, alternative to Microsoft Office. But it is free. You do have to install it on your computer. And the one thing about OpenOffice is, is it's slightly different. So some of the things that you are going to see me do in our spreadsheets is going to be done a little bit differently in OpenOffice. And I will do my best to make note of that as we are working through some of the things uh, we will see in later videos. But just know that although it is free, if you do choose to use it in this course, some of the things may be different and what w you see me do may not necessarily work on OpenOffice. But it's a very, very good option. For years, I had it installed on the school campus computers and it ran just fine and we actually used it in some of our spreadsheet classes. The next option which you're going to see me use most often is Google Sheets. 
Google Sheets is a spreadsheet, as you saw in the first video, that is run through Google Docs or Google Drive. It is free, and the real benefit to it, not only is it free, but it runs on the internet. So you do not need to download or install any software. All you need to do is have a Gmail account, and you go to your Gmail account, go to your Google Drive, and you can create a Google Sheet. And I'm going to actually give you a tutorial on that because I think this is one of the best options to run a spreadsheet. And uh, we are encouraging our students to explore some of the Google Docs options, Google Docs for word processing comparable to Word, and Google Sheets comparable to Excel. And this is actually what you're seeing here is a Google presentation, which is comparable to Microsoft PowerPoint. If you are interested in going and getting started with Google Sheets, you can go to docs.google.com. You can log in with your Gmail account and you should be able to get started. In some cases, the Gmail accounts are not already configured to use Google Docs, so if you run into any trouble, please let me know. There's also another option out there which is fairly popular nowadays. It's called Zoho Sheets and it is free as well, runs on the internet as well, just like Google Sheets, and requires a Zoho account. And you can explore that if you wish. If you already have an account there, uh, you, can, you can use it. And um, anything that we do in this course, and any files that you submit to me, uh, really you can use any one of these options in order to complete your work. So whatever you think is best for you, uh, whatever you have easy access to, I would encourage you to use that. This is not an exhaustive list. There are many, many, many other options out there, and I certainly don't want to deter you from using one of your own options, but these are a list of popular options.